guys. I didn't see you there. I'm Mr. Carl Albert State College 2011 Lee Lell. And as you can see by my surroundings, this is a very prestigious office. Here you are, Boo. Go on, girl. Is this mayonnaise? Yes. How many times have I told you not to put mayonnaise on my sandwiches, okay? I'm not some piece of trash that wants white all over my sandwiches, Kelly. I've told you at least 40 times to put mustard on this, okay? Now, can you get me a sandwich with mustard on it? <laughs> That'd be super. That'd be fantastic. This ruin me, Kelly. Yes, sir. And you're fat in jeans. Uh, uh, Mr. Lee, you got a, a line on phone two. Oh, you're I mean, good. You got a, a call on line two. Hey, thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. Mr. Carl Albert State College, 2011, Lee Lell. I'm gonna have to take this, guys. Yeah, yeah, tell First and foremost, I'd like to start by thanking Lundy Kiger. He provided all promotional considerations last year for me for the Mr. CASC pageant and made sure I had everything I needed to compete. Uh, it took a lot of money, it took a lot of support, and he gave me everything I needed and plenty more. And Lundy, I'd like to thank you personally for the mentorship and the friendship. It's been greatly appreciated. The second person I would like to thank is Scotty Dale Morrison. He's the director of the pageant last year's and this year's. And when he got a hold of me, I was extremely rough around the edges and I didn't have a clue what I was doing. He taught me the ropes, he showed me everything I needed to know and he worked with me very patiently while I struggled my way through all of this. And Scotty, I appreciate all your patience. It's meant a great deal to me. The third person I have to thank is Randy Armstrong. Randy Armstrong was my go-to guy last year when I decided I needed to chop up a song professionally so that I could compete for talent. He did everything I asked him to do and he did it well. He made sure that my production was seamless and without Randy there's no way I could have made it through the past year. Randy, thank you for your friendship. The next people I have to thank is Jeremy O'Berry and Austin Christopher. Last year when I showed up with spray tan and got naked in Austin's bathroom, she let Jeremy put my abs on me just before the pageant. It was awkward. It was cheesy and she wasn't comfortable with it, but we went ahead with it and we won. And Jeremy, I appreciate it. And Austin, thank you for not killing us. The next people I have to thank is Mandy Mead Roberts and her dear sweet mother. Last year, when I decided I wanted a fur-lined Viking Speedo, you couldn't find one online, which is shocking because with the internet you can find just about anything. But I went to Mandy's office and I asked her if she could help me. She called her mother and together they made it happen. And I really appreciate you guys' help. It was very special. For my talent portion last year during the pageant, I had two of the most talented backup dancers you could ever ask for. In fact, it's almost an insult to call them backup dancers because they were in front of me the whole time. Kelsey McCauley and Danielle Bouchard, thank you so much for having the courage to stand up here on this stage and look foolish with me because I couldn't have done it without you. Tara Pierce, you spent a lot of hours last year working with me on the choreography and the dance moves. And I don't think I learned 33% of it, but you handled it all with grace and I'm sincerely grateful. Thank you so much for the help. Also, I would like to thank Dr. Yates. He's the only vice president I know that will let students have unprecedented access to him, his office, and everything else in his life. Your support means a great deal to me and all the students at Carl Albert State College. Thank you very much. And finally, I'd like to end by thanking Mr. Nathan Billy. He's the glue that held everything together for the Mr. Carl Albert State College pageant last year and this year. And without him, none of it would have been possible. I realized that there were times that you wanted to kill me, but I appreciate you sticking with me through all of this. It means a great deal to me. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Viking Radio this morning, guys and girls. We appreciate you for stopping by, and we hope to hear from you again in the morning. See you later, Chuck State. Good show, Ed. A lot of energy. Thank you, sir. You know, a lot's changed for me in the last year here at Carl Albert State College. I've become a local newspaper columnist. I've even become the host of my own radio show. And the girls, they've been a lot of fun, too. You know, before I won Mr. Carl Albert State College 2011, I was a pretty big deal already. But since I've won Mr. Carl Albert, I'm a local celebrity. Girls, that mustard? Yes.
That's a good f***ing sandwich.